This episode is sponsored by MMS, Missionary Music School. Changing lives one note at a time. Go to mmsforeveryone.com. My name is Porfirio Gueiros, and you're listening to Think and Play. I invited a few of my students, which I call friends, to talk about music. What made that song so special, and what made that song different, and what that song influenced in their lives. If you like music like me, if you're a music enthusiast, you, this is the podcast for you. So enjoy, have a seat, and let's think about music. Thank you. All right, this is me again. This is, we are in January 2024. And today, as you can see, I'm driving. If you can hear the car moving, that's me, I'm driving. I have zero agenda for what I'm gonna talk about, but I'm gonna just open my heart and share my thoughts, my ideas for 2024. December 31st, 2023, my daughter Melissa got engaged with Ruslan, so Ruslan proposed and Melissa said yes. Ruslan is a good kid, good family, great family. He's from Ukraine, the family's from Ukraine, hardworking guy, decent guy, she likes to have fun, likes to drive cars. <laughs> smoke cigars and have some whiskey, some bourbon, which is, I really appreciate that. So Ruslan came into our life as a, and he became like a son to us. He's already like part of the family. So we went to Christmas cabin. So my sister was here on December 24th, 25th. And it was really fun. So God was always with us on 2023 and he will be with us on 2024 we have no doubt of that but then uh, January 5th uh, our landlord asked for well she she wants to put our house that we've been renting for renting for uh, almost 14 years so she's putting in the house in the market in the summer so she called me and they said, hey, Paul, uh, I'm going to put the house on the market. So we're going to have like six months to... Well, our lease contract ends on June 31st. So we have until then to make a decision. Where do we want to go? Uh, another thing that happened was a good friend of mine, like a brother, Sergio. Hey, no. So like 30 years ago when we were still in Recife, Sergio was the bass player of our band and uh, he had a heart attack on December 31st. So he's been in the hospital since then. So this has been like hard in our hearts, in my heart and his heart because Sergio is like a brother. And we love him very much and we are believing we still have life, we still have hope. We are believing that God will will heal him and he has a purpose for everything so this is the deal God has a purpose for your life and for my life even go even though we can go through some peaceful moments some good moments some bad moments and this is what Jesus promised us Jesus promised us peace so a couple of days ago I was reading the soap uh, John chapter I think it was chapter 9 or chapter 10 Jesus telling the disciples I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you my peace I'm, this is what I give to you it's not the peace that the world provides it's a different kind of peace it's a peace that we, we can be certain that God is in control 
of everything, every time, every second. A peace that God will provide. God will provide food. God will provide health, shelter, clothing. So God, that's that's the peace we have. We we fight for things. We fight for extra stuff. But the minimum or the the, the, the things that we need to survive, God provides. God provides air, God provides water, God provides food, God provides shelter. And this is what, that's the peace that I feel in my heart. That God is always providing. God is, God is good. God is good, that's all I know. So as I told you, I have no agenda. I'm just sharing my heart. And I want to, I want to go back, like, 12 months for today or, or maybe 11 months for today in December and check what did God do how he provided how he opened the doors how he uh, closed the doors and I want to I'm excited to see God's moving and God's moving God's moving over Mel's wedding you know, all the people that we are inviting, people from Brazil, people from you know, United States, if they're coming here, God will provide, you know, the, the resources, the money, the, you know, the good people. <laughs> all the people that God wants to bring here. But the things that we have to keep on going, we have to keep on knocking at the door. And if the door closes, it's okay. God, the door is closed. If the door open up, will, opens up, we will get in. We will enter with gladness, with joy, with hope, and with certainty. We will we, we, we enter the door with, with, it's okay, God, you're on this. And because here's the deal. God brought us as to America like 13, 14 years ago. So there was no way we could afford coming to America. Uh, there was no way we could sustain ourselves in America. And God was sending provision, God was sending students. So if we look back, God was always there for us, always there providing. And for a few years we stay in the comfortable not comfortable but but stable position because we had the, the, the lease of the house we could pay the rent blah 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 and then now everything's like no we don't have this anymore it's like the the they they, they get the floor out of, out of your feet so eventually you feel like oops what do I do what do I do we have this question mark so anyway, but God, God is our sustainer. God is our our roof, and God is our uh, floor. So He's protecting us and He's supporting us at the same time. And again, I'm back in my favorite spot, Pain Field, where everything started. Keep on going. You can see beautiful mountains, full of snow. It's cold. It's really cold, but I love it because you know me, I like cold weather. I have no agenda today. I have no no song that I want to play. I haven't thought about this podcast. So what I'm going to do, here's the deal. Image Church plan today. John 15, and Jesus is telling me, I am the true vine. And my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that will be even more fruits. You are already being clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It, the branch, it must remain in the wine. Neither you can bear fruits unless you remain in me. So we remain in Jesus. 
So Jesus, Jesus is the tree. Jesus is the true vine. And God is the garden. God is the one who takes care of the vine. Of, you know, takes care, prunes it, water it, feed it, cut it. And then we just have to wait and bear for the fruits. Because everything, everything depends on God. If we are attached to Jesus, to Jesus, we will bear fruits. We, I mean, we we're talking about the fruits of the Spirit. It was my last podcast. So uh, all we want is bear fruits. We want to see, you know, the church going. We want to see people getting to know more about Jesus. We want to see the kingdom expanded. We want to see through our kids, through our sons and daughters, and then our sons and daughters will, will multiply. So everything is about multiplication. If you can bear one single fruit in your whole life, it's fine, it's good. That's, that's a plan, that's, a, that, that's God's plan for you. If you bear more, awesome, good, perfect, better. I, and Jesus say, I am divine and you are my branches. If you remain in me and I am in you, you, you bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Apart from Jesus, you cannot do anything. This is amazing. And if you do not remain in me, you're like a branch that's thrown away into the wilderness. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. So we dry out. It's just good for to be burned in the fire, and that's it. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, Ask whatever you oh ask whatever you wish and you will be done to you. This is to my father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. If you remain in me and my words re remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done to you. Ask whatever you wish and it will be done to you. Lord, what do I wish? I want to expand your kingdom. I want to see more and more fruits. I want to see more and more kids worshiping you. I want to see more and more kids leading worship with their instruments. I want to see more families playing together, getting to know each other more, forgiving each other. I want to see more uh, people like doing their parts It's not that one person is doing everything, but like an, in a band. You have different instruments, you have different sounds, you have different needs and different techniques for each, each instrument. But e when each one of us do your part and we play together, we harmonize and we make people grow and we see people, we, we see your kingdom growing. I know that music is not a ministry. There's no music ministry in the church. Music. It's just a tool to communicate something, to communicate God's love. So use music as a tool, Lord, as a vessel through people. Me first, transform me first, and then I'll be able to transform more people around me. So this is my prayer. I don't care about location. I don't care about how we're going to do it. Just give me a and I'll be teaching under the tree. Or you can give me a big house with five, six like, studio rooms and, and, and whatever. You're the, you're, the, you're the one who controls everything. I don't need money to do it because you have all the money. You have the, the, the resources. I just need people around me. I want to see more people coming to you, Lord. I want to see more people serving you, Lord with heart it doesn't have to be perfect because we are not perfect we are human beings we don't make mistakes but we listen to our heart so good hearted people preparing develop their skills developing their ability to praise to play and to have fun with you because you are the vine you are the tree and we are your branches So all we need is to bear fruits. I know what you're doing right now is, I know what God is doing, is pruning. 
put it here pretty dead because you're gonna bear more fruits this is what god is doing right now with me on you this is my prayer for 2024 god is good god is amazing god is divine or the vine and another thing that we can think about is the vine gives what wine right so wine drink a little wine get some happiness going on flowing in the blood relax a little bit wine is made for relaxing but just don't get drunk with a little wine here and wine there relax life so let's relax life and enjoy the ride so this is my prayer for 2024 now i have to think about a song that matches with this thought divine you are divine lord thank you god is good people i love you all happy 2024 let's see let's see i'm gonna look back for this message a few months from now and say hey this is what god did prepare prepare because i'm coming back all right bless you all thank you love you bye